Força, força. What kind of hellish abomination is coming through to... to, to oh, no, that's not the doctor. Oh. That's the... Fu Can I... Uh, oh, gosh, you're fucking raping me. Uh. Can I get my ring? Ah! Oh, fuck. Fuck. Oh, cat shit. Fuck. Uh. Can I holy water this bitch? Can I holy water this bitch? Ah! Shit, I wasted her holy water. Oh. I believe. Yep, ring's right here. Ring's right here, you dumb bitch. I like how Capcom kind of reused that sound that they used in Resident Evil. Which, I'd say that's probably actually a public domain sound that they used for Resident Evil and then they used in a bunch of other stuff. How do I go about... I should be able to... I don't know if I'm in the optimal range. That shit. Should be able to just hand it to the ghost. Now he's fucking ascending like Jesus. What the hell did he drop? Sigil stone. What the hell's on that? What the hell can Pretty sure that says something like Bjorn was here. We'll take an attack on your behalf just once. Just, just once, alright? But you do it again, and I'm gonna fucking kill you myself. Can I steal the ring back? I hope I did some good. Yeah, you did some good for the guy that got fucking murdered by the Nazis. He got fucking blown up by the Nazis, but you gave him back his engagement ring, so, uh... Cool, kid. Drinking fountain shaped like a lion. How convenient that these things that my mom talked about that I could fill the bottle up with is specifically back in World War II era London. How convenient. Okay, I, I can refill. Water's been refilled. And I'm gonna fucking save this bitch. Yep. Okay, that was kind of forced. I, I apologize. I'm pretty sure that's actually just on an animation. You know, like it's uh, what I would call false physics. It's something like a Half-Life model, a Half-Life 1 model that runs on, that has uh, ragdoll animations. And, you know, like ragdoll deaths and stuff, but it doesn't, it's not actually a ragdoll, it's just set to do ragdoll animations when it dies and just do the random animations that a ragdoll would do but it's still an animation it's not physics so you know it's imitation of physics source engine it's actually physics sound like a nerd sound like a huge nerd Now, ho, 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 ho. Get that fucking bitch off me. What the hell you do? I'm, I'm fuck, uh. What the hell do I give you? The fucking mango slice? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, I don't fucking, I don't give you a fucking mango slice. Oh, I just, I just tricked a bitch. Victim's belongings. My darling. Oh. I'm fucking running away. Fucking, fucking book it. 
Okay, no, I gotta, I gotta get, I gotta get the Ringu. Gotta get the Ringu! Oh! Get that fucking shit! Gold fountain pen. Now let's get the hell out of Dodge! Ha oh. ha I think every day I'm turning more into Morty Smith. It's really quite uh, r ridiculous. Nothing spooky's happened quite yet, but uh, I'm sure it'll happen when. Oh, she's fucking ascending! She's already an angel. Sigil stone. Right? Oh no, invisibility band. Well, that'd be pretty fucking useful. You know, considering the snow. Why? Did I do that? Alright then. But yeah, that would be pretty useful considering the uh, fucking sledgehammer mutant that I'm about to encounter. Now, I should probably be conserving. I should probably be conserving my uh, holy waters. Because, actually, as a matter of fact, I'm going to go back and refill because the holy waters are pretty useful against all the, against like the sledge guy and all that stuff. So, hey, it's pretty useful because it uh, slows them down or uh, stops them temporarily so you can get the fuck out of dodge. But I'd say my heart's probably going to be fucking racing like when it like it was during the Verdugo fight in Resident Evil 4. Oh, it's on that animation again. But yeah. So I'm going to save again so I don't have to go through that ghost bullshit. But yeah. Because I recall being, like I said, just pretty much terrified of the sledgehammer guy. And I haven't gotten any braver over the years. I mean, fuck, don't hug me, I'm scared, it scares me. Well, that's, that's not exactly a good example, because that scares anybody. I mean, I can, you know, scare fucking Arnold Schwarzenegger. Man, the myth, the muscle himself, or you know, just that. But yeah, I haven't gotten braver over the years. As a matter of fact, I've actually gotten to be more of a pussy. So this should be fun. And I have a tendency when I'm doing all this bullshit. My hands get sweaty and clammy and I can't hold on to the controller and so lavender water. So I'm probably going to end up throwing the controller. Most likely it's you guys. Oh yeah, the hide mechanic. Yeah. What's this? What this? Dad's letter. from the other side. Okay. I need a fucking flashlight. Alyssa, how can you not be smart enough to, to uh, do something? I don't fucking... can't think enough. We got this JPEG Christmas tree. Today must be Christmas Day. Yes. Yes, it must be. I'm sure the door back there. 
Why? Oh, stairs. You know, uh, revisiting this, I'm reminded of a situation that happened in elementary school that uh, kind of bothered me back then, still does, where I, when this game was still somewhat new, like it was maybe a year or so old, uh, I would talk to my friends at school about the game and talk to them about how scary it was. And one day, a teacher came to me and told me to never speak of any scary games like Clock Tower ever again because I was spooking people. And that was probably the first time that I ever had a thought similar to, Man, go fuck yourself. I mean, it was just, you know, oh yeah, I've been playing this new Clock Tower game. It's uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty scary. Don't ever talk about that again, you motherfucker. Or I'm gonna expel you. All right, I didn't want to go. To, I didn't want to go to church anyway. I don't fucking know. Eric. Uh, what, what's that guy's name? Uh, Hosier, whatever, whatever his name is. Take me to Snurch. There's a key next to it. There's a photo of a man with a helium tank and a blowtorch and it's also Brendan Fraser. Of course Brendan Fraser Wait no actually Didn't he live in didn't his, uh, didn't his character in the mummy live in London at least after the first All right then. You know, at least after the first movie like him and that girl, uh, what's her name, Evie, got married. Wait, is there another door? Okay. I think I remember... I think I remember that when you, uh, when the sledgehammer guy shows up, Alyssa actually shoves the hot fire poker in his face like a total bitch and uh, it just it doesn't really fuck him up because I mean his face is already pretty fugly but it just it, it hurts him I guess it's locked and will not open now watch this cutscene happen yeah say I remember I say I don't remember too much about the game, but I still remember these cutscenes. Some of them, anyway. Yep. Young pianist. Brutally, uh, brutally smurdered. Yeah. Tried to say slain and murdered at the same time, and you see where I am now. Don't get on to me. I, I almost failed high school. Shut up. William Norton. Return, return to the front in July. Oh, I thought, I misread that. Thought it said return to the front of July. I was going to say, wait, is that, is that how the British say the first of July or the first of the month or something is the front of the month? But no, it's, I'm just stupid. Oh. Fucking oh, okay. Evade points. Okay. Certain areas. Certain predetermined areas. Well, I know a hide point is that curtain, and I know the hide points don't fucking work 
if this guy sees you go into it. Which, I mean, it's pretty good AI, because, I mean, some games would have it so they're like, Oh, I'm coming after you! And then you hide behind some curtains and they're like, Wait, go! Huh! Huh! Me scared! Me frightened! Eh, it was just nothing. <laughs> like Skyrim or something. Who's there? Eh, must have just been my imagination. With a big fucking arrow sticking out of his head. Just... Like fucking Sean and Sean of the Dead rip that dart out of his head. Evade points can only be used once. What's an evade point? Like, is it? I. Oh yeah, she runs out of her hiding spot like a fucking bitch whore. Oh boy, run! Fuck! Oh, oh God! How the hell, where the fuck do I, I don't know where the, huh? You ain't getting my ass. Ah! How do I do this? I don't fucking know. Ah! Ah! Oh, it's so, it's nice that he actually waits for her to open the fucking door. Like, he's right behind her, and he's like, Oh, well, I don't I don't want to be rude. I mean, ta, ha, ta, Hey. Now, he shouldn't be able to come through load doors, actually. Wait, no, actually, he's... He's like Nemesis. Yeah, yeah, he's... He's like fucking Nemesis. He's like... He's like fucking Nemesis, and I don't like it. I don't like it. I want to refill my holy water so I can burn his ass. I can only burn his ass one time. One, two, three. Uh, mm -hmm. Grateful. Uh, fuck you. Fuck. How high can I keep that fast turn key? Uh, life in the fast lane! Surely make you lose your mind! Life in the fast lane! <laughs> when I get scared, I start singing the eagles. <laughs> Let's fucking hide. Let's fucking hide, boyo! Did he see me? Did he saw me? Okay, I can look around. Huh? 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 Uh, uh, uh. Little Zeno, she's having a fucking seizure. <sighs> what the hell was that? Is it? Is it safe? Should I... Should I leave? If I recall, I can go upstairs and get that fire poker. And I can fuck him up, up there. I think, anyway. Is it really worth it? What's that key for? Oh, key items. Red Dwarf key. Oh, it's for the Red Dwarf. Red Dwarf. Alright. Back to my shit. And I don't know if that... Is he...
you know, yeah, I can't examine it anymore. I'm pretty sure I can use it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I can use that as an evade point if push comes to shove. Hmm. See, the thing is, I don't know if he disappeared, because I heard what sounded like a sigil breaking. But again, I don't know if... It's locked and will not open. Alright. But I don't know if he disappeared, or... Nope. Okay. He didn't. He didn't disappear. He's still there. Mm-hmm. Looks like I'm gonna have to sadly fucking end this session, or, well, I'll, yeah, I'll have to end it because my camera's going dead. I may end up just continuing on and trying that fire poker, seeing if it knocks him out for a while. And if it does, then I'll, you know, go through with that and knock him out and everything, and then I'll end this session. I'd say it'll probably be kind of a short session would be longer, but my camera's about to go dead, so, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and shut that off, because I don't want it to go dead while I'm in the middle of doing this. So, what I'm gonna do is use the fire, how do I, where is he? Ha! Ah! Fuck you! You, uh, brown bastard! Is that racist? I don't fucking know. Get to the evade point. I'm talking, I'm calling it an evade point like I know what I'm talking about. Alright. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy boo. Buddy boo gone, bubba. Yep. Let's shove it in his fucking face! Ah! That killed him. Can I inspect him? Nope. Alright. Now I'm gonna go ahead and continue on. I'm gonna keep calm and carry on. That's the World War II Britain motto, isn't it? But yeah, I'm gonna go and save at that lion fountain. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, hmm, I think that evade point made it so that, uh, I think that it made it so that He's not going to show up anymore. I'm going to refill. Then I'm going to save my game. But yeah, I think that makes it... Because I know he shows up inside the... Uh, inside that uh, main hall place where the girl's playing the piano. But I don't know if he... I don't know if that evade point finished it for now. Like, I don't know if that killed him. So, and of course, I'm going to have to go back and go into that girl's room because I think there's a key or an invitation or something that I need to get out of there. So, I guess until next time, I will see you later. TV doesn't work. Oh, no. Maybe it's not plugged in properly. Maybe it's the... Oh!